Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to a brand new series, Pixel Cross Story of Seasons. So this game came out um, a few weeks ago, actually, more like maybe a month ago by this point. But this game, it's, uh, it's interesting because, because it's a combination between the Pixel Cross series, meaning a puzzle game series, and the Story of Seasons uh, thematically. So it's a combination of both. Uh, it's not going to be a traditional farming game in the Story of Seasons franchise. But regardless, because it does have Story of Seasons in its title, I do want to cover it. So let's begin this. I don't expect this game to um, have a really long intro, but it'll be fun to cover. Welcome to the Leaning... or it's Leaning. Sorry, it looks like an M, the R and the L. <laughs> Welcome to the Learning Channel, sorry. Today we're going to talk about Nanogram Puzzles with Professor Molecule M Matrix. Hello everybody. Farming takes a lot of effort. But sometimes, we also need to exercise our brains a little. Nonogram puzzles are a great way to do that, and they're super fun as well. Even though the rules are very simple, if you've never played a nonogram before, you won't know where to start, so let's get you up to speed. Nonograms are puzzles where you fill in squares on a grid to create a picture. Each row and column has numbers that tell you how many squares to fill in, and how many to leave blank. I have actually like played some of these games on like the App Store and stuff like that. So yeah, how many squares to fill and how many to leave blank, exactly. The numbers show how many squares in a row or a column need to be filled in and in what order. There must be at least one blank square between each group of filled in squares. For example, if a row has numbers 3 and 1, fill in 3 consecutive squares, leave at least one blank square and then fill in one more square. You can mark squares you know to be blank with an X to help you solve the puzzle. Okay, but you don't need to mark every blank square to clear the puzzle. You win when you fill in all squares correctly and a hidden picture is revealed. You never have to guess. All clues can be deduced through logic and a process of elimination. For example, though this clue has two different possible answers, you'll notice these squares are always filled in in either possibility. Oh, here you can see because the square is marked as empty, there's only uh, there's only space to fill in this clue square here. There are many tools to help you with these puzzles. Be sure to check out the puzzle options from the settings menu or pause menu to tweak your experience. Whether you use all the helpful tools or none of them, there's no wrong way to play. Enjoy this underground cele celebrating story of seasons. Okay, sure. Achievements. Uh, okay, we look at the tutorial, I'm guessing. That's what that is. Okay, so... Play puzzles, how to play, we're not going to do how to play again. Settings, journal, okay, let's look at these other stuff. Settings. Okay, so settings, that's music, vibration. I'm going to actually put vibration off and screen shake off. Uh, just because I know that a lot of people really don't like, especially screen shake, too, too crazy. And vibration, I like to turn it off for me because I don't really like vibration in games. Uh, date, format, month, day, year, that's perfect. Accessibility, puzzle options, I don't think I need to do any of this. Reduce flashing, dislike font, yeah, we'll go back. Puzzle options, clue roulette. Before starting any puzzle, you'll be asked if you want to play clue roulette and automatically fill in a random row and call it a puzzle. Wait, a random row and call it a puzzle will be filled automatically before you start. Do I want to do that? Not really. Show timer, puzzle timer, puzzle click time will be visible, sure, whatever. When you start a puzzle, rows and columns with zero clues will automatically be marked with X's. Um, I mean, I don't really need to do that. Rows and columns will not automatically be marked with X's when all clues are completed. It says, wait, they will not automatically be marked with X's when all clues are, compu are completed? When you complete all clues in a row or column, the rest of the spaces will be automatically filled in with X's while the cursor... I mean, yeah, that's fine. It saves a little bit of time. The cursor will always move freely in any direction. When starting to draw, mark or erase your cursor will automatically be locked in the direction. I'll just put it like that. The counter feature will only be visible when you hold down the appropriate button. Whereas if it's on, it says the counter feature is always visible when the cursor is over a field. 
Oh, I see. I'll keep it like that. Autocorrect incorrectly placed blocks will not be corrected. Mistakenly placed blocks will be automatically corrected. No, I don't want that to be automatic. Hints always off prompted. Hints as to row will deduce will always be shown. Will never be shown. And then uh, prompted says hints as to which rows or columns moves again deduce will be shown. Okay. Theme. Seasonal is fine, yeah. Hide check for mistakes. The check for mistakes button is visible from the pause menu. This way it's hidden by the pause menu to avoid accidental use or temptation. Doesn't really matter. Okay. That's fine. Damn, yeah, there's actually a lot of different options with this. You can never loop around the grid when the cursor reaches the edge. Oh, the cursor looping? Yes, please. Okay, I think that's fine. Try to make this as fair as possible and giving you all a great viewing experience while not being too easy or cheap, you know, for me. This is the statistics. And, okay, pull the tutorial. Oh my god. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, play puzzles. Here we go. I don't know how many there are, but it looks like there's over 200 of them. Oh my god. There are 270? Seems like it, yes. Show farm? Okay, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna start with, um... Wait, did it let me do anything that I want? I actually don't know. Okay, let's just, let's do this. Okay. So I obviously need to start by understanding the controls. Okay, so something says 5. It means that... Okay, well that was easy. If it's 5, basically if it says 5, you know that all 5 have to be marked. So all I did in that puzzle was go through all 5 and it was that simple. So, clue roulette use, hints use, autocorrect use, checker. Okay, cool. So I did that one. Interesting. So we're just going to move on. Okay, so let's see how many I can knock out in an hour here. Okay, so one of the easiest things that I recommend to always start with five because that's going to show you, you know, the ones that you know for sure. And then from here, it's really just all of these because they all have to be threes. So yeah, these are some very easy ones from the beginning. It's, it's pretty simple. There's nothing crazy about it at the moment. Bell. Okay, sure. And we're just kind of going to move on here throughout all of these. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, the first ones are going to be kind of boring. It's going to be pretty easy, you know, but they'll get more challenging later on. Yeah, see, so it's really just filling them all in right now. So I'm assuming the first 10 to 20 are going to be pretty freaking simple. Got an egg, okay. And they're all 5 by 5. Later ones are 10 by 10. Even I think I saw some 20 by 20s. What does this mean? Okay. That's for marking. God. Okay. See, this one's a little tougher. It only has two fives. Um, so now you have to decide here. Okay, are we doing the 4s right here or the 4s down there? So, um, so I, I guess one of the easier ways to try this, like, if you do something, I think I should do the 3. Oh, yeah, no, I can do the 3 right here. That's right. So that'll actually give you a good indication that obviously that has to be three. Now, if you do one here, you can then do, you have to do one here. Um, and then you, oh wait, no, no, that way, that one actually works. Sorry, that was, that was not smart of me. And you can, you can press, oh, okay. So you can press A to like clear it. Yeah. So like if you do, okay, got it, got it. So this one says one, one. So you have to do one space one and then one you see how on the lot the left the top left line said one one it means that you know there's two sections of numbers you have to put and you always have to space it out with one x and at least one x in the middle but you can do more than one x in the middle okay so this one okay this one's a little more complicated okay so that one's five now another easy one is you see this one 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 because it's three sections of one, you know that they have to be like this, like this, and like this, spaced out. Um, so those are some of the easy ones. This one says three one. So the only possible way to do this is to do three like this and then one there. So that helps eliminate that one. From here, there's one three. So you have to do one three in that order. 
And then from here, it's pretty simple. You just do three, three, oh wait, no, sorry. Three there. Yeah, well, actually, no, it is fine. I like how they're playing a lot of different, like, Harvest Moon music. I can hear it in the background. It's kind of cool. A little nostalgic, you know? Pedometer. Ooh, what did I do? Five. I cleared five puzzles. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, so like always, start with the fives. Okay, that's about all I can do with this one, because, uh, yeah, there's no other like automatic ones that I can that I can do. Um, so if we do something like let's say I don't know one, two, three, then we have to do we have to do one in there. Whoops. So we can do something like a one one like that. Let's see if you know something like this works. So if I need to do two, this doesn't mean that I have to do one there. Which means this one has to be marked. Then I can do like, I don't know, one there. So that means that one has to be marked. And then can I do one, two... Uh... That did not work because, um... Wait a minute, which one did I do wrong? Hold on. Five, two... Wait, but this one has two and this one has three. Is there a reset button? Uh, pause, move cursor... You can do undos. Wait a minute, hold on, what am I missing here? Wait, three, three, five, one, two, one, one. Yeah, what the heck? It's saying that that... I mean, isn't that technically... One, two... Hold on, what, what if you do undo? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it would've worked. Okay, okay. Well, I'm try still trying to figure out some controls, but... Got it, got it. Okay. So... Yeah, because the only ones I could've done... Or, um, yeah, those. Okay, so like here, if we do, let's say, 1-1, one, one, it gives me access on those. Oh, wait, it's because they can't be, they can't be spaced, right? Yeah, it's, that's, that, that's the problem. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, no, that one's not gonna work. Hold on. Um, because I have to do two in here, so the only way to do this, actually... I could do two there. But then this means that I can't do... Okay, I can do that. The problem is that this one's not spaced. So this is where you're gonna have to do a lot more of the, like, I guess, thinking. I'm just gonna have to take out... That one? So it's just this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect! Yeah, so some of these will you definitely take some thinking, you know, you gotta be moving stuff around here and there, but, okay. Let's do this next one. Oh boy, okay. Well, we know that these have to be like that. So I have to, you know, that's a simple way to start. And then this one has to be one and three, so that helps that too. Okay, the rest of them are a little bit more challenging, I would say. There's not really any other give-me's, so we just have to kind of plug in some stuff and try to try to see what happens. So, let's see. Well, we know that one of the ones has to be, no, sorry, not there. It has to be here and here, because you can't put them together. So you have to go like that, and that clears the three. And then that means the three has to be here, and then the three has to be here. And then the three have to be here, yeah. There we go, okay. I figured that one out much easier than the last one. You gotta go logical as opposed to guessing. Okay, number eight. Ooh, a ten, the first ten by ten. Okay, okay. Wow, that's huge, okay. We'll start with doing ten. 
Makes sense. Okay, let's see. That's the only one actually that's like a... Forgive me because... Yeah, the other ones are not going to be as simple. Well, actually... Let's see. We know we have to do... That's what? Six? So we know those six for sure have to be used, I think. Pretty sure. And then these other ones also have it. This one has four. Okay, four and four is interesting, huh? Okay. So if it's four and four, we know that... Um, I think these have to be used because we can't use... I mean, technically, we can do something like, okay, I think, yeah, I think those have to be used, if I have this correct. Um, and then eight. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one, because these other ones are going to have to be spaced out more. I see. And that's what can sometimes generate some confusion. Yeah, because if it's 8, what if we do something like... I mean, I think that might work. Well, realistically, it's good odds that it might not, but I don't know for sure. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so I know those have to be like that. And then those also have to work like that. Two and two. I don't know if I'm doing this one. No, I, th I think I missed out one of the logical things before. No, see, because that's not going to work because that's only, that's four. Oh, shoot. I, I did mess that up badly. Hold on, what if I do that? Maybe that might be better? One, two... Yes, okay, got it. Yeah, I, I, did, a, I, I did a guess move in between, which I shouldn't have tried to do, but... In general, you can use logic the whole time. You don't have to be guessing stuff. So I just gotta get a little bit better at that, you know? Okay. So, let's see here. What the hell? Was this a 10 by 5? Okay, okay. Oh uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so, here's the thing. So if you ever do 8, so you know for a fact that the middle 6 always have to be used, because no matter what, what side you do 8... Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now if you do six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, so you know the middle two have to be used regardless. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so we know those are like that. Now if you do, okay, well here's a five, I should have done this one first, my bad. And then this one too. Okay, so four and two, so we know four has to be here, and I don't know about the two on which side, um, and then because this one is like that, that means 8 has to be here, okay? And then that means 6 has to be here. And that means 4 has to be here. Okay, so now we do 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2, 2. Yeah, there we go. So now, now I'm getting it. I'm getting into a pretty good routine here. It's, it's working out pretty well, I think, so that, that's good. Ooh, we got the hoe. It's fun. I'm liking it so far. Okay, 10 by 10. Okay, let's see here. So, like before, you start with the tens, the obvious ones. Okay, we're doing all the surrounding ones, sure. And then this one too. Alright, so let's see what we got to work with here. Will the five have to be here? One, five, one. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got two more of these ones, so this, these are a little difficult to know where, but we got all of these, so we have one, 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 okay, so those have to be like that. One, one, two, one. One, one, 
one. Okay, so two one has to be there, and then two one has to be here, and then wait, I did that wrong. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. One. Oh my bad. Sorry, I, I did this. I did this backwards. <laughs> I meant to. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Because it has to be in the right order. Like if it's one two one one, you have to do it in that order. One two one. You can't do one one two one. And that's where I got it messed up a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is a ten by five. Okay. Um, we'll start with this obvious one, and this one too. Okay. So we know that these all have to be used because these are one one ones. We know that it has to be the two edges on each of them. Okay. Because this one's a four and these have already been used, these two have to be used. Same thing with these two. And then that means that for these, we have to do one there and one there. Oh yeah, and those have zeros. So if they have zeros, you can also just put the X's if you want to from the beginning. That might actually help you out, eliminate some stuff. Not bad, not bad. Number 12. Okay. All right, so the obvious one here would be the 10. Okay, and because these are nines, you know that it has to be the bottom nine because they have to be in a row. Okay, good start. So, let's see, one, six, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, since we know they have to be spaced out. These are one, one, one. Okay, I don't know those for sure because that's, yeah, I have to put two more ones in there. Okay, the next one that we might know about would probably be, do we know these? Let's see, one, two, one, one. Actually, yeah, because these are both one, so this means that it has to be two, one, like that, because we know these have to be ones. Okay, we're making some progress, and then six, well, we know it has to be Four. We don't know the rest yet, because we can either do six, yeah, so we'll leave that blank. Two twos, if these are obvious. One, one, two, so one, one, two, two and two, two and two, one and one. There we go. Very simple. What? What is that? What is that icon? It looks like a little character. Oh, and it's a shipping box, never mind. It looked like a face, almost, so I wasn't really sure what that was. Okay, number 13. Alright, let's see. We're going to start with the 5 here. We get 3 and 6, so we have to do, wait, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 3. Makes that obvious. Oh yeah, my bad, I forgot about this one. 5 right there, okay. Five and two? Well, I'll hold off on that for a bit. Let's see. So those are one, two, three, four. Okay, we know those have to be it. Yes. So those are the two. So I don't know where the ones are either here. Okay, what about this one? Three, two, two? No, I still don't know because if I do three, two... Yeah, I don't, I don't have enough info for that one yet. This one has a one. These are threes. One, one, another three, one, two. Oh yeah, this one, duh. Three on that one, okay. Uh, yeah, but see, I still don't know. Because if I do two, two, and then three, or it can be one, two, three, two, two, yeah. So I still don't actually know that one. Same thing with, well, I know some from here, like these. Um, I can do one more, actually. Because the five can be either there or it can be here. So we know that this one, wait, my bad, I didn't mean to do that. We know that this one cannot be it. Okay, I mean, we're making some progress. And then three has to be that. Okay, so yeah, we're getting it now. And then three for that one, three for that one. Um, one for that one, and then one up here. There we go. Nice. Seed bag. Okay, five by ten. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we'll start with these five. Okay. 
And then let's see what's next. So what is next? A three and a five. We got three, five, three, five, and two, five. Okay, so we don't know yet because with five could either be that way or it could be. Oh, Jesus. Um, so I think regardless, this is one. Because these, these two should be it because if we do five up to here, well, let's see. If we do five here, the two range can be that way. No, so I actually don't know for that one yet. Though. Okay. And then two, three. What's another one that would work? I'm trying to figure out the next logical solution here. Because four and this one can be on either side. Two, three, two, three. Hmm, it's going to be kind of stuck on this one. Let's see. I think I'm missing a very obvious one that I'm just not seeing. Yeah, because we know those have to be... Well, I mean, if they're five and they're... Hmm. And that one would be a three. I actually can't find the next logical step here. Wait a minute, I think I'm missing something very important. Because, like, if I do... I don't know if that would actually work. I feel like it wouldn't, but I'm also not entirely sure on this. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Wait. I did just figure something out. Hold on. How did I have this? Yeah, so because I know it's they have to be here, yeah, my bad. It would be this, yeah. That would be the next logical. How did I how did I miss that? What the hell? Okay, so two five, but see that one still doesn't give me enough info. Um Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out one, two. No, see if, it, if it's if it's three. F Wait, but but this one wouldn't automatically be eliminated, no, no, because if it's five three, yeah. So those X's shouldn't be there. Okay. Yeah. So the only ones that I need would be. Wait, no, no. Well, that. Yeah. Okay. So those two are definitely a. At least I think so. If I'm seeing this right, it has to be like that because if it's one two three four five, one, two three at most, or if it's one two three four five. Yeah, okay, okay, got it. So that means these have to be like that. Okay, but that's the part that was kind of tripping me up here, and I should have put some more visual cues on there to help me out because it was kind of messing with me. Okay, so I know that's the two. So that means we know for sure that this one cannot be that. Uh, I mean, nor can that one, of course. The five could technically be either of these two, one and two. Now, wait a minute, though. No, I'm doing something wrong, actually. Wait, 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 this doesn't make any sense because the two, three can't exist like this. Okay, hold on, I think I, I messed up on something. Okay, this one has been a huge mess, so let, let's go back. Okay, so we know this is true. Now, because these are three fives, even if I do it like this, let's say, it means, well, let's see, if I do the range like that, one, two, three, that's the furthest possible, or if I do two, one, two, three, four, five, that wouldn't be possible because of that one. Okay, so one that I believe, no, but see, that still wouldn't. But that doesn't mean that it is... Well, okay, well, regardless, if 3 is there, let's say it's like this. The, the, the first 3 are 3. Now, if I do it like this instead, 
Okay, so that means those two are guaranteed threes for both of these. I just want to make sure on that because it was really tripping me up. Okay, so because those are guaranteed, so yeah, this is a complicated part, so I did do this wrong because I assume that the fours will be, no, but you can't assume that because the fours can be either there or there. Now, the one that we can assume would be this one. Those two are fours for sure. And now we don't know where the other side is. Okay. So now let's see. So because we know this is the two, we know for sure that this is not one of them and this is not one of them. Now the five can be either this one or, well, if it's five, then we know for a fact that for this line specifically, it has to be this one as one of them, and they can be either the top one or the bottom one. I mean, that would actually apply to the same rules on this one. No, well, no, because this one it can be three, so if I put a three there, I can't assume this is not it, because it can be five over here. I see, okay, okay, damn, this is crazy, okay. Um, all right, all right, let's see. Hmm. Now I'm trying to think of, okay, well, because this is a three, we and this is one, we know for sure that a second one has to be here. Now the third one, we don't know. Uh, so because I just put one here, we know that the we know that for this one, this one cannot be one because the five is going to be either there or here. Okay, now is this helping me at all? I don't... Well, we know that one of the ones has to be here. We've established that. So that's good. So we know the break from between the three and the two, which means the two has to be here. Okay, okay. Damn, we got to do so much deductive thinking here, but I'm, I'm, getting, it, I'm getting it down. Okay. So now that we are, well now we're basically over here, we can assume that with this one, the three would be here. We just don't know where the five would be. For this one, we can't assume yet. Actually, no, well the two's right there, so we can do the two right there. And the four has to be there. The one, we still don't know. The ones here, we don't know. The three, we do know. Okay, let's try vertical now. One, two, three, four, five. Still can't do that. Wait a minute, no, I messed this up again. Shoot. What am I doing wrong here? I'm, I'm doing a very crucial step incorrectly because I just messed this up again, see? I did do, I, I did some logical assumption incorrectly again. Because I'm definitely doing something very wrong and I can't figure it out. Hmm. What the hell? Yeah, this is not this is not coming to me. It's this whole top thing that keeps messing me up. Because I, I didn't do that right again. I did not. Dang, I'm, I've been stuck on this one for a long time now and I, I can't figure this out. Okay. Five, five. How did I get to that freaking conclusion then? Because like I said before, the only ones that you can start with are these right here that you know that it's those. And then after that, it just starts to kind of like trip you up a little bit. Oh man. I'm definitely rusty with this. I used to play these puzzle games like all the time and then after a while it just, I don't know, it just messed me up for sure. But, like I was saying, because it's four, we know for sure that it has to be here. That those have to go there. We know that's the two, so we know that it can't be these. Because there has to be a break in between. Because it's two in a row here, we know that this one also cannot be an X. Or, or sorry, it cannot be the one, so it has to be an X, I meant to say. Two and three. So we know this one has to be one, because if this is the three for that line, we know that the two cannot be here, so we can put an X there. Which means two can either be here or these two. Regardless, we know that is one of them. 
Okay, so we did that one. Let's see, two, three. Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, well, because we know that one's a three, this one also cannot be that. Which means this one cannot be one, which means a two has to be here. And because that's a two, this one has to be a two. That's a three, three, and a five. So that one cannot be one. Which means the two ones have to be here. Three, four, five have to be there. And then three. Oh, sorry. And then this one. My bad. And that one. Oh my god, that... Okay, I, I was probably just in a slump on that one. I don't know why it took me that long to figure that out. I, I messed up like three times. I had to start... It took me ten minutes to do that puzzle. Okay, we gotta redeem ourselves. Here we go. Fifteen by fifteen? Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is eleven. Um, that's the most that's guaranteed, because if you do thirteen, it could either be on one side, so that's all I can do. However, because we just did thirteen on this one, we know that thirteen have to be the thirteen in a row here for this one specifically. Okay, good start. For 11, this one's gonna be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll take 11. No, 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 hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that's the most that's guaranteed because the last four can be either side or mixed, you know, in between. Alright, let's see here. 8, 1, and 1. I think I can work with this one. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, we know that one cannot be 1. And then the other 3 ones we don't know. It could either be 1, 1, 1 or 1, 1, 1. So we'll leave that alone. Okay. 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay, hold on. 2. Oh, wait, sorry, not that one. I meant this one. 2, 1, 1. Two, two, shoot. That's not right. There's a chance it couldn't be right. Okay, so let me actually clear everything then. Damn it. Well, well, we know that one can't be one for sure. Same thing with like this one, um, this one. Oh, that one too. One, two, three it has to be like that. X that one out. If this one's four and already has one, it has to be the first four and then X that one out. This one has to be the first eight. Six, seven, eight. X that one out. Okay, okay. Oh wait, this one, I forgot to X that one. Oh, okay, so that one has to be a two right there. Perfect. And then this one has to be the first four. We have to X that one out because if it's two, yeah, it's not guaranteed. One, four. Okay. Oh wait, this one. Four, right here. And then three has to be this way then. Okay, we're making progress. We still don't know anything about the 13 up top. Uh, this one's a two, so that means these are not it. Um, obviously these can be crossed out too. And these. This one's a three, has to be there. Okay. This one, that's not guaranteed this is the last one, because it could be either the two or the one. So we'll leave that blank for now. I mean, there's a chance... Could, is it possible for that one to be the six? Yeah, actually, there is a chance. And then eight, two. Okay, so where do we go next now? Um, trying to figure this out. Okay, this one can't be it. Um, well, so I'm missing two additional ones in here, and uh, but I still don't have enough information to know that. That one's what? Two, one, hmm, one, four. Oh wait, hold on, this one's a zero. Dude, how did I, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot, okay. I should have done this from the beginning. 
Okay, this actually might help a little bit. These zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, I know for a fact that it has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, and then eight can be on either side. Okay, got it. Well, this actually helps all these ones. Yes, that's perfect, actually. So I can do, because that's a one at the end. Yeah, these are all ones at the end. So we know I can X out all of that. This is three ones in a row, so we know for sure that it has to be one here. Uh, but that's it, because I could... Actually, wait, no, that's... Sorry, that's not... No, I shouldn't assume that. Sorry. Because it could actually be one, one, one. That's right, okay. Um, let's see, eight, two. Okay, so I got all those. Okay, where did this one help me out here? I'm still trying to figure this out here. The twos. No, I still don't really have enough info here. Two ones. Still three ones left. One, two. I can still get three ones in there, so that's not going to help me. A two and a one. Two, one. Oh, wait, hold on. Two, one. If I already put one here, that means this has to be X'd out. Which means that's a one. So if that's a one, that's the last one, which means it can't be these two. And then twos are gonna be more so over here. Okay, two, yeah, okay, yeah. Did I do anything with this? Eight and two, still nothing with that one. Uh Damn it, I messed it up. I messed it up somewhere. Wait, why did I cross out this one? Um, I don't actually know. Is that not right? No, it, it looks, it looks right. What, why did I X out that one? I don't remember actually. I hope this is right, because now I'm under the assumption I might be guessing. Since I'm not exactly sure what I did there. Oh, I see. No, I'm messing this up really badly, actually. This is not good. Because if that's a 1, 2, 1, shoot. Oh, no, no. See, when, once you lose it, man, it is so hard to recover. See, now I don't know if, I don't think I'm doing this right anymore. What the heck? Oh yeah, no, I, I messed it up. Shoot, I definitely messed this up. Because, uh... This is not really working anymore. Oh man. Two, one, one. Oh, damn it, I thought, I thought I was actually doing good. No, I don't think I'm doing this right. I may need to start over. We'll see, if these are ones, then we know it can't be those, uh, nor these. Yeah, I don't know if I have this right. It's possible I'm just wasting my time here doing this. Oh man, hold on, one, space, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that works. Oh man, I, I just, I really hope that I'm doing this correctly. Um, let's see. Eight, one, one. Okay, well, if those are ones, it means that this has to be one. Okay, still nothing with a two. Mm -mm. I'm still missing, okay, two, one, and then one, two, 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 one, one, two, two, one, so if I do one, two, two, one, I think that's the only way to do it because it's two twos in a row. Uh, oh 
god. I'm so freaking terrified. I, I just, I don't feel confident anymore about this. Because I have a very strong feeling that I did something incorrectly. That's a one, so that means these can't be it, neither can that one. So the one can only be one of the other ones over there. The two can still be either or, the two can be either or there. Um, and then here, I have two, one, 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 two, one. Well, the only way to do this would be like this. I think it is coming together, but I don't know for sure. One, two, one, four. Okay, well, if it's four, it has to be these four. I don't know about the one, which one specifically, but I'll leave that like that. Two, one, two, one, so it has to be that one to clear that one out. Oh god. If that's a two, that means it can't be that, so that means... It has, that has to be a two. Oh Jesus. <laughs> no. If I, if I, oh man, I'm gonna be so pissed off at myself. If I, after all this work, if I don't get it. Okay, so it has to be two, it has to be that one. Four and two, two and one, so I still don't know which one. I'm gonna leave that blank then. One and four. Well, okay, I know I can do, okay, well it has to be that one then, for the one, yeah. One, one, one. Three ones in a row. Well, we know it can't be these two. Well, the only two options would be these two then. And then eight and two. Okay, I can't do much with that one yet. One and four can be either or still. I can't work with that one yet. I'm missing a one here, no. Oh, two, two, that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we know that one cannot be it, which means the four has to be here, and the one could still be either or, okay. So that's the one, like that one, and this one has to be the two then. One, one, I mean, the only possible options are top and bottom. Um, and then what's left? There's a one here. Two has to be this one. Oh, thank God. This looks like a face. Zach, okay. That was tough. That was really difficult. God damn. Things are, things are stepping up. Okay, 10 by 5. Much smaller board this time. Okay, so if it's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, let's do... Yeah, let's do those first, plus this one. And then other stuff. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so those are the only ones that, that are guaranteed. And then from here would be these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six. Yeah, okay. Six and one? Okay, so we know it has to be that. Okay. Two and two, one and two, three and three. Okay, so this has to be the third one right there, which means it has to be three, three there. It's the only possible solution. This is a one, one, and a one, two, so I can clear those out, plus... Oh wait, no, no, not that one, sorry. One, two, three, four, six, okay, so that means eight has to be here, which means it has to be one, one like that. No, sorry, I did that wrong. I, I, meant, I meant to do that there, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that one like that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And then three there. Six and one. Still can't get that one down. One, two, three, four, five. That can be that one. Well, four has to be these right there. And then six and two. That one was significantly easier. I did it in one minute and 24 seconds. Fodder. Hey, how long did I do the other one? Oh my god, that took forever, didn't it? Oh, it doesn't tell you. Okay, 10 by 10. 
we'll start with the zero. Uh, and then we'll do the eight. So like the eight, we know that the middle six are always guaranteed. Okay, now we gotta find other uh, rather large numbers. The larger ones are two, four, two, they, that, that'd be, yeah, okay. So I think the only way to do this, I think the middle two have to be used because if it's two, I, I think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works, but I mean, if that's the case, that means these are also going to be like that. Which means, I think, oh man, I hope I'm doing this right. God, okay. We'll do that. All right, sure. So, 2-2. Two, two. What about 2-5? Um, oh, wait a minute. Sorry. If, if this is 5, it has to be like that then. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay. So two and two, okay. I don't know much about the other ones yet. So we know all the fours are in the middle. Um, so this one we know it has to be two, four, and that, okay. Hopefully that gives me some good info. But the one, four ones we don't know for sure. It looks very symmetrical right now. One, one, two, four, two, one, Okay, not really finding much else right now. Yeah, one, two, three. Well, let's see. This one, this has to be the one. Because you can't do one, two, three. And, okay, so this means that we know that these cannot be it. Because that's the one. But that also means that these cannot be it either. Right? Actually not true. Hold on. Well, no, I, I think so. Yeah, because if these are three ones, wait, 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 hold on. Let me, let me get these X's out. If we look at this and do three one, there's no way that this one is part of the three. Wait, yes, yes, there is. I'm such an idiot. Okay, never mind. Um. Well, we know that this side. Well, we know that this side it can't be it, right? Because if this is part of the three, one, two, no, technically it still can. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, yeah, that's that's not a good logical deductive method right there. Um, okay, these these have to be it, part of the two twos. I just don't know where the other side of that two would be. But does this help? Actually, it does because then this gives us threes. We know that these are threes, which means that we know all of these can be crossed out plus at least one space. So I hope this gives us some good info then. Two, two, and four. Okay, well now we know the four has to be in the middle, so this means that these two are guaranteed. Okay, uh, and then from here, so we got all those down, which means, yeah, two, two. It has to be these. We don't know about the ones yet. We don't know about these. It's giving me a lot of good info though. The reason it can still technically be any of them, so we don't want to mess with any of this yet. Oh, and then these are threes. Okay, so we have to do one, two, three. Perfect. Yes. And then this means that these have to be the eights. Um, the three ones. Uh, I mean, these are guaranteed. Go two twos. We did it. All right, nice. Oh, it looks like one of those, um... Oh yeah, Oni Onigiri. What, what's happening? Oh wait, what is this? Collage puzzles? Oh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to save that for later, I guess. Yeah, that is definitely my bad on that. I don't really know what the hell I just did there. Wait, sorry, this is this is one? Okay, so they blocked that one out. Okay, so those are guaranteed like that, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we know that one's guaranteed. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I did there then. Yeah, so we know those have to be it. One, two, three, four, five. And then the six, seven going either way. So if we do five, okay, so well, we know that has to be the one then. And then this has to be the three as well. One, two going on like that. One, two, one. Oh, geez. Yeah, like it, it takes a lot of thinking about this, but I, hmm, two, one, one. Oh, it's not gonna do anything. Oh wait, hold on, this one. Well, you know, this has to be a 1. It can't be a 2, because if we do 2, the 1-1s one can't fit over there. Sure. Okay, and then 1-2-1, one, one, I think same thing here, because if we do... Well, no, if we can do 2-1 one over there, okay, that's fine. 1-1-1, one, 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 so... You can block that one out. I mean, these are one, so they always have to be blocked out regardless. Yeah. Two, three. And these, these both end with ones, okay. Two, one, and one for that one. Still, what's the other one? Two, four, two, three, one. Well, is this part of the, th the only way to do this would be th three like this, and then two there. Two, three, four, five, six, okay. Well, this has to be a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm not sure what I did wrong last time. Whatever, I finished it and that's the end of the first video. We're up to like a little bit over an hour. We completed the whole first page within one video, which is about 18 puzzles. All right, so before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.